Woo, traffic's weird. Huh? <laughs> I was sitting in traffic the other day, which here in Los Angeles is so rare, and I was waiting to get on the freeway. You know how sometimes now you have to sit and wait to get on the freeway? You just sit and wait and wait and wait. And there was a hitchhiker by the side of the road with a sign that said, pick me up and you can drive in the carpool lane. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was pretty smart, too. I flipped him off and locked my doors. <laughs> that miserable piece of number two. This happened to me just very recently. I was walking down the street, and I saw a guy with a nose ring and an earring and a chain connecting the two. And I went up to him, and I yanked down on it. <laughs> a big parachute popped out of his head. <laughs> it was awesome. So I'll tell you guys a little bit about myself. I... Uh, I've slept with 38 women. Okay, two. Generally, I like to round off to the nearest 38. Like most comics, I just broke up with my girlfriend. Yeah, most comics have even gone out with my girlfriend. And the reason that we broke up is because she said that I was smothering her. Or at least that's what I could make out from underneath the pillow. It sounded like smothering. It may have been mothering. It's really too late to do the double check on that one. Okay, here's, here's what really happened. She sent me a telegram. That's how she broke it off of me. She sent me a telegram. Could you do that to a guy? Could you send him a telegram to end a relationship? You could? All righty. You're pretty happy to hear that, aren't you, sir? Good. Uh, why can't you just call up and, uh -huh, sorry, it just didn't work out, click. That'd be dumb if you said click at the end, wouldn't it? <laughs> be really stupid. So she sends me this telegram in the mail, or whatever. You know, the guy comes up to the door. I thought it was from Ed McMahon or something good like that. <laughs> and I open it up all excited. All right, dear Doug, regarding our relationship, stop. <laughs> so my career's going pretty good, though. Happy about that. I performed in six states. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Let me, let me count them off for you. Drunk, sober, elated, depressed, California, and Texas. I'm in three of those right now. I, uh... I got to work in Las Vegas last week. I was in Vegas. That's a lot of... I was there for seven, seven days in Vegas. After I blew all of my money on gambling and prostitution, I had six days to kill. So what I did was, if you have a dollar, you could take the tour at the Hoover Dam, which is like the most butt-awful, boring experience you could possibly imagine, and yet it only costs a dollar, so I was all over it. And... And I get out there, and the tour guide's like a closet comedian. You know, you could tell that he wants to get into show business, but he's starting out at the Hoover Dam level, <laughs> which is like, you know, a notch below Jungle Cruise guide at Disneyland. <laughs> he, keeps, he keeps slipping in jokes as he goes along, and I'd like to try and recreate that for you now. One of the world's largest hydroelectric facilities, Hoover Dam, was dedicated by President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. This grasshopper walks into a bar. <laughs> the bartender says, you know, we got a drink named after you. And the grasshopper says, you've got a drink named Steve? More than 26 million visitors. <laughs> have toured the facility since we began giving tours back in 1937. Knock, knock. <laughs> knock, knock. Yeah. Hoover. <laughs> Hoover Dam cost approximately $175 million to build. These two men are walking down the street when they see a dog licking himself. One of the men says, I wish I could do that. And the other one says, maybe you should pet him first. <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys have been awesome.